Theo Sultan here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all my new subscribers that I've been getting recently. It's it's super motivating to see you know the views and the subscriber count grow. Thank you guys so much. So Bray Beagle, my teacher, has been so generous to allow me to borrow her dream cards. They are by Stefan Kaplan Williams. So the definitions and descriptions of the cards go really really in depth. I'm not able to touch on so much of what the author you know has written down so if you guys feel really drawn and feel like these cards really resonate with you I encourage you to google them or look them up and see where you can find out more about them alright so that being said I do want to mention that I pulled some cards for myself earlier and uh, the cards like really like hit home exactly what's going on uh, and so I remember when I was looking at the card I, I felt myself unconsciously not wanting to engage fully like I didn't want to engage my insight into the card because it was just like a lot of like really like deeply like uh, deeply deeply touched me deeply touched me uh, so these cards are amazing um, due to the, the length of this video I'm not able to touch on all areas of the cards I do encourage you to possibly go and look it up if it resonates with you so let's go ahead and pull a card here so what I have set out for us is we're gonna do you're gonna have you pick a number one two or three and each number is going to get three different cards okay and now we are all connected, so each reading for each number is going to apply to you in some manner or another. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this. The first card we have here has to do with your personas. Okay, just give you the imagery of that. All right, so I just want to read very briefly in what the author is saying about this card. So personification, the anima. Uh, your task is to take what most excites you and seek arenas where it can become actual in everyday life. Uh, the mother that's in this card, or, sorry, that, that center image is about um, the anima, which is the entire image. Okay. The mother in this, in this card has to do with your task is to open up to support and understanding from those who can give it the most. Okay. The whore who's in this, uh, impersonal sensuality, loose, looseness, uh, she looks to you at you as prey, victimizing yourself. Excuse me. Your task is to find that in which misuses relationships and give it a more meaningful arena of ex for expression. The daughter, uh, virginal, narcissistic, and beautiful, your task is to find places of newness and there, and there actualize your potential. All right, so let's take a look at this card here. So what I'm getting from this card is that my, my eyes are immediately taken to the potted plant. All right, all the way at the top. In the pot of plant, the image my guides are showing me is this plant sitting on the windowsill, um, the sunlight's coming down, and this person's pouring water into it. So this reminds me of what are we taking into ourselves on an external level, and what are we or what are we giving to ourselves internally, right? So this is kind of kind of nourishing yourself and what you're wanting to grow in in you. Right, so be that from affirmations, what maybe you're wanting to grow, an affirmation or a, a mindset of I am successful or I am confident, right? Starting to plant those seeds and to grow the energy in you is a big theme here as well. As, as of course, everything else that is mentioned uh, by the author too. Okay, the next card we have is the ego or consciousness, right? And so what the author says about this card is, the central image, the seeker, the seeker's light shows him the way, attitudes, reflections, evaluating. Your task is to form up areas where you know the true path, but have not yet followed it. So both of these cards are pointing on, you know, following what your divine plan is. Um, this card here with the anima had a lot to do with, uh, your task is to take what most excites you uh, and seek arenas where it can become ever actual in everyday life. So if you have a dream that you're wanting to manifest for yourself, maybe you want you know, uh, spirituality or metaphysics to be your full source of income, this is the thing to take action on that. Okay. All right. The secondary imagery, the jade skull here, is asking you to see, look for the essence, not just the surface of things. Uh, practicing one thoughtful thing each day. The boat here has to do with uh, principles and practices, test your attitudes and values in reality. Next is the homunculus, which has to do with the essence and the soul. Consciously enter into dialogue with the inner parts of yourself. The journal has to do with ask yourself during the day, what am I doing right now? Shovel, deepening and searching. 
is asking you to let go of the past by living its essence in the present. Lamp, which is clarity and civilization, give up trying to be different and instead choose new values which are more your own. Firewalker, courage, courage and beliefs, change an attitude a day and you can be transformed. Books, knowledge, and essence, read many books but live your own. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's see here. All right, so my guides, where, where my guides are taking me is they're making me follow the stream of light. And so this is looking into the unconscious, clearing away any fog which may be obscuring your own values. And there does seem to be a call to action to sitting in your, you know, your divine, your divine chair. Your divine chair is kind of like your birthright of what your divine plan is. What is your soul contract for being here? What is your karmic contract for being here? This is clearing away any fog in the unconscious mind to be able to see that clearly and to claim it. All right. Next card here has to do with dissolution or dissolve. Okay. So it has to do with. Uh, your task is to let go, merge, flow, and release, so you may learn what is what it is like to be simple as a child. The heating in this in this card here, with the potion, contain your energy so you can change inside. The fog, unconsciousness, confusion, give up trying to understand and commit to action. Hair pulling, hysteria, and release. Express feelings even though it seems unsafe. Sleeper, unconsciousness, passivity. Sleep, but when awake, increase that wakefulness. Washing, removing, redefining. Take the power that besets you and creates with you. Uh, the orgy, which is mentioned here at, the, at I believe that's uh, my left. Um, the orgy has to do with release and wildness. Express energy instead of attitude. Um, cremation, simplicity, transformation. Let go of those attitudes which rigidly bind you. Swamp, devouring dissolution. Practice letting criticism dissolve tight self-images. So overall, this central theme here has to do with looking at what are you feeding yourself, clearing away any fog in your perception, and really claiming your birthright and what it is you came here to do. So overall, this has to do with getting serious and putting to action your divine plan and what your dreams are. Okay. So that's it for number one. Now we're going to go and pull some cards for number two. For those of you who pick number two, let's see what your message is. All right. So, this deck here. I'm going to go ahead and pull. Oh, very interesting. Wow, it seems very positive, very up uplifting, honestly. Truly, truly. All right. Oh, oh wow. Woo! My goodness, you two's got some transformation, some shifting going on, diving deep, putting death to things to be reborn. Wow. That's a lot of energy. Yeah, that is powerful, powerful stuff there for you two. Oh my. Wow. All right. Last card here. Oh. Similar to the card we picked previously, but this one, instead of with the feminine archetype, this is the masculine. Right. Very interesting. So, instead of reading the definition first, I kind of want to read my own, read my own, you know, get my own insight from it, and then read the card. All right. So, so firstly, look for the simple way to solve a problem. Right. Instead of burning down the whole forest to find something, Try going through it neatly with a comb. Okay, that's the first message I'm getting. And sometimes the work we do for self-improvement doesn't need to be incredibly esoteric. It doesn't need to be incredibly mystical or magical or, you know, wielding of energy and power. Sometimes it needs to be just as simple as journal, meditation, contemplation, and a recognition of your passions. Okay? Or even ritual, right? Journal, meditation, and ritual. Oh. So the first step for you know, for number twos is to know that there is a promise and a plan for you. Put death to the things that are holding you back so you can be reborn. 
Know that justice will come for any past wrongdoings which have been done to you. Now is a time for great amount of things to be pulled out and put back in, right? So for people who work with energy, there's a very common practice where you fill yourself up with light every day, filling yourself up with this spiritual power. And what happens after a while, you keep filling up your cup, right? It keeps filling, getting more filled, more filled, more filled, and eventually starts to overflow. And everything from the bottom starts to come up and out, up and out, up and out, up and out. And as you start to fill yourself up with this light, all of that stuff is expunging itself, right? Expunging itself, and you become this more pure being, okay? So now is the time for you to kind of take in that good, so you, that becomes your base, right? Because a lot of times, when we don't go back to heal, right? If we have a really, really bad trauma, we don't ever go back to it. Some of the times, our personality can be developed around that trauma, okay? Think of it like um, it's like a pillar of, of negative energy, okay? And you, you want to kind of wrap layers of experience, memory, knowledge, and wisdom around this pillar. But this middle pillar, which your which your being is built off of, may be infected or have this this um, energy that needs to be shifted, right? And so the more experience we build, we're still holding on to that center negative that negative experience. So all of this wonderful, wonderful light and wisdom you've accrued is being tainted by this one experience, right? So by going back, you can shift this, this center experience, which helps lighten up and free everything else. So overall, know that there's a plan for you. Put death to things that are no longer serving you. There is a rebirth coming. Those who have wronged you in the past, they will get their just deserved. Um, now is the time to be taking out things that no longer serve you. Make sure you're overflowing your cup of wonderful things. Get in touch with your community in a good way. Don't be afraid to start all over again. It is very wise for you at this time to really go deep and to touch in on your emotions because there is this new beginning coming for you and it's anchored in abundance and longevity. <laughs> Next we have, you know, if you do fall through on these steps, the central image here has to do with just utterly feeling a sense of freedom freedom, joy, and bliss. Those of you who work with the uh, the Amethyst or the St. Germain Energy, I highly encourage you to do so. Those of you, if that's not so much your route, really connect to that divine power. Really, really connect to that divine power. Pardon me. Um, what I was seeing here was, um, in this image, um, you know, I'm not very Christian myself, but um, I was seeing this, this priest um, in a very, very... Um, almost like old Catholic church, and he was pulling down light into himself. Right? He was pulling it down. And it was just, again, that very powerful spiritual connection. So this is a, you're being highly encouraged to reach out to that higher power. Whether you don't believe in a creator or you know a god or anything like that, reach out to the universe or the all or whatever that, that higher power is for you. Connect to that strongly strongly every day build up that connection okay because there is a celebration and abundance to be had when you start to fill yourself up right we have that old water allegory again right um, there is a sense of joy and happiness which will come to you when you when you cease lazy behaviors or uh, apathetic or sluggish behaviors ceasing apathetic or sluggish behaviors will help you reach up and have success in the ways of prosperity which are you are trying to build, right? But first and foremost, it comes down to your mind, your body, and your spirit, right? Going through this purification process will get you to this place, right? This is a lot of blessings here, a lot of blessings. Um, it seems like there is going to be a, a meant celebration of wealth in your life, okay? Next card here. All right, so this, again, is similar to the other one. This one has an apothecary, an herbs, a mortar, pestle, has coins, has a mountain, uh, one of those stands that speakers use, uh, has a, uh, like, a general rallying his soldiers, and a wreath, and then protesters. All right, let's see here. All right, so what I was seeing here was um, a middle-aged man, and he was sitting in his chair, and all of a sudden, his his face is 
his, he, he had like this, um, you know, like a popsicle stick and had like a mask on. He went like this, and it was a mask of him as an older man. He removed it, it was him as a middle-aged man. When like this, it was him as a teenager, and then as a child, and then as a baby, right? So, getting chills now. This is kind of taking the different parts of yourself and unifying them into one powerful being, right? The younger parts of yourself, the older parts of yourself, and where you are now, incorporating healing the younger, bringing that to the present, and bringing the older, wiser self of you into the now. Uh, I'm getting massive chills. Because those of you who have picked number two do have this very very wise energy to you. Very wise energy to you. And this is a reminder to make sure that your hands are kept in doing good things. Put your hands to good use. Okay. Alright. So, let's briefly go over what the author has to say about these cards. Okay, so very briefly, four has to do with the central image is um, resolution. A snake, luminous in fire, swallows its tail, completing, healing, rebal rebalancing. Your task is to make choices which resolve the issues of your life so you may recreate a new place for yourself from which to journey. The sunset has to do with a simply yield and move on to other things. Dive has to do with always choose one thing essential. The burning house, accept the inevitable, inevitable without holding back. Handshake, help the other person feel as right as you do. Operation, say no, letting the chips fall where they may. Judge, say no to whatever would oppose a yes. Baby, accept what has happened and live it fully. Rainbow, stand at the edge of risk and choose yes. Alright, next card, card number 39. All right, card number 39 is increase, the central image is increase. The great bird bursts from the waters, ascending, realizing, fullness. Your task is to enhance the main opportunities in your life, letting the old and lesser ones go. Gold, spend time evaluating before plunging into things. Basketball, practice breaking through your known limits. Focus more, uh, the fat man, focus more on what you are actually doing than what you want to do. Smile, to increase your vitality, express yourself more. Water, look at the accomplishments more than problems. Grapes, choose when the moment is right, or ripe. Fireworks, each day affirm the new life which has happened. Scoreboard, each day increase your value. Okay, and number 63 here. Let's see what that's all about. Sixty-three is persona and personification. The healer, uh, courage, wholeness, energy. Her face shows you what you lack. Your task is to risk anything to make the change re changes required. Have faith in the possible. Leader, your task is to fully commit to tasks and directions greater than you could achieve alone. Hero. Your task is to focus more on what is possible now and your own ability to push through to new life. Achiever, your task is to make your goal so real you require of yourself more than you think you can give. Right on, I love it. All right, so now let's go ahead and poll for those who pick number three. All right, those who pick number three, let's see what it shall be for those of you who picked number three. Oh, very, very interesting. Powerful stuff. Okay. Ha, 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 This is a really big theme here, folks. We keep getting these cards. <laughs> this is some big medicine. Uh, for those of you who watched all the way through, you, you know what I'm talking about. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's see here. Number three. Okay, ooh, wow. All right, here you are. So again, I'm just going to read these myself, and then I'm going to see what the author has to say about them. Okay, oops. Okay, this card is very important. All right, so let's see here. Make sure you're doing what makes you happy. Create the necessary changes as needed. This all has to do with really focusing on what you are passionate about. 
get grounded and down to earth about your goals and aspirations. There's a lot of discipline required for where you're wanting to go. All right, let's see here. This card here. Trust in the synchronicity of things. Okay, don't doubt the synchronicities that you notice. Be more open to faith. Wow, this card is packed. Oh my. Hope you guys can see that well. This has to do with going to that place of peace. If that's a memory for you, going back to that memory and just kind of holding it and meditating on it will help bring you more into a balance and help you to, uh, what's the word, to, um, to mediate oppositions, okay? It has to do with bringing together opposites. So, whether it be in communication with family and friends, mediate those oppositions. Okay, this is a call to action. Uh, but first and foremost, I am really feeling this does have to do with kind of going back to that, that happy place. Whatever that, that meditative state is for you, that memory perhaps, that sacred space in your imagination, going back to that will really behoove you. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the author has to say. Number one card is about centering. Okay, centering. At the center of centers shines the pattern, balancing intersection and essence. Your task is to affirm yourself as a child of the universe, seeking always the balance point from which to live. Secondary images, the altar, worship, spiritual forces, humble yourself by focusing on more important things. Fountain, source and renewal, know your thirst, seeking what can fulfill it. Dance, celebrating and joy. Celebrate by letting go to others who can help you center. Candle, illumination, affirmation. Find the value in each possibility you live this day. Didn't we say something about affirmations? I don't know. Anyways, mediator. Oh, sorry, meditator. Uh, commitment, purification. Mm -hmm, commitment. Let go of everything until you find what frees you from yourself. Apple core, simplicity and essence. Be aware of how you do things, not why or for what. Rose window, intersecting, intersecting, mysterious. Ask yourself, who or what is greater than I? Comment, originator, magnificence. Find in each day that which inspires you. Alrighty. So, let's head over to this card now. Number 65. Journeyer, the mystic, inner knowing, trans transcendence devotional. Her closed eyes reveal an, an inner opening. Your task is to ground yourself by turning transcendent experiences into inner knowing. The solitary, isolation, solitude, uncommitment. Learn to be alone with your deepest thoughts and feelings, not in alienation, but with values achieved along the way of life's journey. Seeker, turn dissatisfaction into renewed activity and complacency into a burning fire. Traveler, Go to new places both by changing habits and taking advantage of opportunities which may come your way. Alright, last card here, card number 57. So, the center image here. The couple embraces merging energies, bonding, projecting, and sharing. Commitment to, inter commit to integration. Ask yourself each day, what new things evoked in relationships have I integrated? Lovers, sexuality, life force. Make love in tune with nature. Friends, change your relationships and integrate the, the results. Prostitute, needs disassociation. Look at your compulsions and find healing contexts for expressing the repressed energy. Hands, cure outer differences by choosing unities within. The elderly, in giving, focus also on what you're getting. Chess, strengthen your commitments and humble yourself by being more real. Holding hands. Make relationships secure in the essentials. Birds. End dead-end relationships and form new ones which have purpose greater than either one of you. I love that. Alrighty. And one last card for everyone here. Wow, guys. There is this heavy, heavy theme on the masks and personalities of ourselves. My goodness. All right, let me look at this here. Wow. So, this is inner child work. Right, we all have an inner child. Um, 
bringing that up and healing that is is what is being brought to our attention. Now this this happens naturally over time, in a in a way. If you are staying diligent on your spiritual practices, um, but more focused attention may be necessary. So specifically meditation on past hurts, past traumas, um, anything which keeps us young and in that young frame of mind, we need to really heal and free up within ourselves. Wow, where in our childhood have we, have we felt betrayed, alone, um, separated, you know, torn from something? Uh, where we felt love, where we felt joy. Um, this is just kind of going back to that that childhood energy and just reliving it and integrating it in a good way. Okay, there is this sort of illumination and evolution which will come from this healing of the inner child. Alrighty, so that was it for this insight. If you guys would like to schedule Invocation of Paths with me, which is where I aid you in the manifestation of opportunities and synchronicities towards your goals and aspirations, please let me know. I also do Life Force Transference, which helps with positive evolution on a physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and soulful level. And lastly, I do Insights, which is um, I do scrying, I work with crystal scrolls, which are very upper dimensional. Uh, I work with, um, you know, scrying with typical. Uh, crystal spheres and black mirrors and whatnot. I also use cards and other tools. So if any of that sounds like it could be of use to you, please go ahead and feel free to message me. I have all my contact information down below. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed, blessed week.